Okay, that proved a challenge. Um, this is uh, Canary Wharf, and that's the uh, Swedish um, tall ship Gothenburg, which is actually a modern replica, which I think they started making, building in 95, and um, was uh, launched in 2008, seems to ring a bell, is that right? Um, something like that. Um, and it's built to the original sort of specification, so it's got a number of modern additions. You can see a radar up there if you look carefully. But it's really quite tall, uh, even though it's got an ultra wide angle lens, I had to keep walking back and back and back. So I'm going to have to walk fairly quickly to get up there, or you've got to run out of things to say. Um, oh, excuse me. And uh, so they're in uh, London for a week and uh, they're doing tours and there's a certain amount of scampering around it's one you need to be a bit mobile if you want to see a great deal of it and uh, let's just see if we can't get on board right. Thank you very much. Right. Every ticket worked which is kind of handy oh dear bear with me a very heavy camera bag slung over my shoulder that just makes it all the more entertaining. So if you look here, you can see all this extra wood, and that's for doing repairs if uh, a mast snaps or uh, one of these spars. Um, partly because, you know, dock girls these days don't carry this kind of stuff. And the masts are divided into three bits, which I did wonder originally whether it was just, you know, Due to available tree length, but apparently it's so that you know the top bit snaps, only the top bit snaps. Uh, so uh, we're now heading aft. Oh dear, we'll go down there later. There we may want to do a bit more vertical climbing. Oh dear, it's difficult watching the screen to see what I'm shooting. Well, making sure I don't actually fall down the stairs. Quite a long way up here. So there's the stairs down there. But if you have a look sort of over the side, it's quite a long way down. Yeah. The crew are very helpful, by the way. I've uh, talked to a number of people. This is sort of my second time round. I went all the way around shooting some still photographs and then came back to do this. There's the O2 over there in Greenwich, North Greenwich. But again, I don't know if the wide angle makes it look more or less, but. You're quite high up here. And, uh, there's your handy dandy radar, which is probably a useful thing to have. So these days they have um, various safety things to. Uh, make sure people crawling around up there are okay but uh, back in the day uh, it was a little bit more adventurous and of course uh, modern safety things uh, anything did go wrong now, apparently 85% of the uh, sailing they do is sailing by sail rather than using the engine right slightly boring shot as I uh, sort of head down here It's just like there's be a bit of a queue. Let's see if we can. Uh... So this is where they steer from, which is a, it's a bit interesting. There's a few modern goodies in here. So, uh, but if you if you look at the view from here, you can't really see where you're going. So apparently they, they there's the compasses the compasses over there. So they they, they have somebody each side, I believe. But you still, you know, you're not. I believe they just tend to told to follow a bearing and go for it. So, uh, sorry, I'm waiting for somebody to take a photo. So, uh, yes. so compass, which is correct. Nor actually, interesting enough, I'm not sure it is because earlier on it had north more over that way. So I don't get that. Maybe people have been banging it a bit. Handy shot. Um, lots of things the uh, crew only, but if you, I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but some of these things go down quite a long way. Uh, let's see if I can escape from here. Oh. So 
Apparently this is also the, the original style of rope rather than modern rope. So, uh, they, 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 this one was telling me that they uh, needed to sort of not mix and match between modern and old. Or they might have problems. Right, so now comes one of the more exciting staircases. So we're going to have to wait a minute or two to get to. So, uh, I think it's just slowing a few people down because it is a bit uh, steep. Um, I'm not sure what else you can see. I mean, it's a Swedish ship, but uh, so why well, there's a red ensign up there, I don't know. Probably just uh, politeness when visiting the uh, UK. So, uh, next step is to go down to the gun deck. Um, a, lot more, a lot more sort of unfinished wood above us here. So, some serious bits of oak. I believe it's all oak, the ship. Um, but, you know, it's a bit. This, this at the airport with the right side. Vanishing down, so I've got bags slung over my under shoulder under so I can uh, climb down these things without having to come off my shoulder a bit. And, uh, it's got to feel where you're going. So yeah, it'll give you a bit of a uh, jolt. Yeah. Yeah, sorry if this shot's not very exciting, but I need to sort of right. concentrate on what I'm doing here. Uh, you okay? Right, let's make sure I'm walking down into anybody. Look, they're out of the way. Here we go. But, you know, it just sort of keeps on going down. And we have guns. So, uh, oh, just a uh, piece frame if you want to read back. It's in focus. I don't know. I think you need to. Uh, I need a bit more Sorry, it's 5k, so I think you know, it should work. Um, so that gun is slightly misaimed. So originally the ship, um, the 1745 version, which uh, sunk, um, had uh, 30 guns. So this has got less, but they do work. And those, the current ones are replica guns. So um, people were suggesting they would actually fire shot rather than just. Uh, uh, clouds of smoke, which they do at the moment. Uh, do you know if the guns will actually fire shots? Somebody was suggesting they thought they would. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it probably frowned upon. Uh, unfortunately, London didn't want us to, so we had to do it way out. Yes, but that was just firing uh, powder and you know bits just of paper powder. and stuff. Yes, just powder. Yeah. Gunpowder? Gunpowder. Gunpowder or black powder? But are, are like these? Cannon strongly enough built that you can uh, fire. You could, you could, yes. How, how heavy are the, the cannonballs? That's couple of kilos? Exactly what I asked. We get, six we, six pounders would be my, my, yes. my guess. Yeah, that, that, well, I think it would be mine picking one up earlier, but uh, so thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, there's down here on the tables, which you can't actually quite get to yet, but uh, if I meander between the people. And uh, hopefully there's enough light that you're going to read this. That was your pull through rope. Yes, yeah. So it wasn't yeah, that six pounds. Yeah, six, six pounds, yeah, I'll buy that. Yeah. Though I don't know what units they used in 1745 Sweden. <laughs> They recall them pounds or something, but they uh, the same. So, who are we shooting at over here? Oh, that's bright. So, I don't think you've seen exactly where we're shooting, probably. I think the dynamic range is beyond the uh, GoPro. So, uh, so, um, this actually counts as an armed merchant ship, it's not a warship, but you know, they were trading. They used to take um, oak and similar materials from Sweden down to Cadiz in Spain, um, because the Spanish were building a fleet at the time, and they needed these Swedish oak and uh, iron from Sweden, and uh, I forget what else. This lady was exceptionally helpful on the small details. <laughs> Like 
I b believe originally, when this was the first time, I had a huge number of people were on this gun deck, complete with pigs and cows, um, which would have made it very exciting. Um, so, how many people did you say were the original crew? I, I'm choosing this, by the way, that's um, all right. Uh, like on here now? Or? No, 1745. 1745, uh, there were like a lot more, I think like uh, 160, 170 people. But there were also like extremely many people who were just like, uh, were just like, whose job was to be with the guns. Yes. But there were like, yeah, 160 people, I think. So, it's uh, a lot of people. Yeah. But it's quite. Yeah, also, the, they had to be like, uh, Deep. On, on deck yes. or here yes. because like under here there was like storage room yes so uh, so do you know how much are the boats currently underwater with no cargo um because it's, it's the boat's very high above the water do you know how much is usually under the water because presumably not very much without a real cargo um sorry that's a complicated question i didn't mean to i think it's like um from deck and down there's like eight meters or mm. something uh, but I don't know like how much of it there's like in the water, yes. <laughs> I must admit. Well, presumably it sinks a bit when all these people come on board, so... Uh... Yeah. Oh dear. Anyway, thank you very much. You're welcome. So, uh, so I've been having a very nice time going around here. Mm -hmm. So just a little video this time around. So... I'm not sure where that music's coming from, but I think it's piped. So... Right. Enough guns, and another little steep stairs. Oh, somebody's coming down, so there'll be a pause. Hello again. Hello again. You haven't come any further, right? That's it. Well, no, that's I'm doing a little. Here. I hope that's all right for you. But uh, yeah. no, I was uh, trying to work out how tall the boat was because it, it, it seems very tall. Say again. The boat seems very tall. You know, if you're in. Forty-seven the... meters. No, no, that's long. Tall. Oh, sorry. No, tall to the top deck. I meant not tall that's to the top. Forty-seven meters. The rig is forty-seven meters yes. from water height. But from the deck and down, how many meters is that? Have to check the book. And how much typically is underwater? I said probably eight. I have to look at that, but I think it's eight meters. It's quite a lot. Oh, right. Yeah. So you, you're very limited in the places you can get into. Uh, you are on gun deck now. Yes. We have one deck under. Yes. That's for uh, crew. Yes. And other things. Then you have another deck under that. Yes. Which is for storage and so forth. Yes. And then you have certain compartments in the front and in the aft mm -hmm. that is uh, even lower deck. So there's plenty yes. of, of more space here. Yes. Well, if you're going all, all the way to China and back, you, you want to have enough room to bring a decent amount of stuff back, really, exactly. don't you? That's, a, that's <laughs> it's a exactly. Silly going there and just, you know, well, no, we can't fit too much in, you know. A couple of handkerchiefs and we're done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you again. Oh, and up it is. Ooh. Ugh. Oof. Oh, dear. Right, so in the middle of all the woods, see this wood's less finished than what's in the wood on that side. So it's really much just sliced up bits of tree. Oops, wait. It really is impressive as to, you know, how, how wide everything is with a uh, lens as wide as this. Hello again. See if I can get past all these people, which is a little bit of a challenge and not fall over. Oh, yes, that was what I meant to comment about downstairs. Um, the supports for the roof down there um, will actually come from the very sort of ground level bits of the tree, the start of the roots, which has the right curve to sort of curve around and support the uh, roof. Which I, uh, you'll be able to see them if you go back in the video. But if you look at the roof supports, the way they sort of, sort of um, is it knee, knee out? Good question, not sure. But um, so there's modern stuff around us. And there you go. It, it does have an engine, because obviously you wouldn't want, for safety reasons, to just use sail. Um, especially in busy shipping ways. I don't know if you can see that rope down there, uh, the lowest one. That's the safety rope that goes up, which does look a bit more modern than all the traditional ropes. But obviously, you know, you've got to be sensible about these things. Got, so. Ooh, ah. 
It's just me trying to fall over and succeeding to a degree. Excuse the bouncy bits, but I was sort of... There's, there's a lot of things to trip over down at ground level. So I just tripped over on that bit, so nearly sort of uh, ended up a bit further over the side than I'd intended. And there you go, the Gothenburg in Canary Wharf, London. And worth a visit. Oh, 15 quid by the way, but you, you can book online, but I just paid um, in the ticket booth as you come in. She's sort of down there somewhere. Uh, it's, uh, ooh. Yeah. Got everything a bit unbalanced. This first one here is a bit loud. So when you close it, is that step? Oh, well, yeah. Whoa! So this uh, hole I'm hanging on to is uh, rather flexible. You see, you just there's a lot of movement in it. So I think maybe I'd better just head on down. See the guns pointing outwards. So there you go, the Gothenburg Canary Wharf, London. Enjoyable trip.